And nobody better than Katherine Sandercock to have the ball in her hand with Florida State's season on the line. And Sander Cox starting with the strikeout. Zoe Leno and Devin Flaherty is there. Sander Cox ahead, 0-2 on Blampede. Hopped back into Sander Cox. Glove, three up, three down. Okay, time is here for the second time for Kat. Towards Flaherty. Slow hopper towards Harding. Got it over to Bethany Keene in time. Right now. Won their first NCAA title back in 2018. Josie Muffley, great play. That's a fair ball, Harding, yes. You always see Kat Sandercock walk behind the circle, take that really big deep breath. Can't express enough the importance of just that routine, trying to calm the body a little bit. First pitch rolled to Flaherty, a quick inning. Pop up. Muffley wants it. And in this situation right now, with Kat Sandercock and your team getting you a run, this is where you absolutely need to thrive and love this tight ball game. The ball's in your hand. You are the experienced vet in these types of moments. And I think when your team gets you a run, the kind of where they've been at the last couple days, looking at the game earlier, it's like, hey, that has to be enough in the mindset for the pitcher. Zoe Leno to Flaherty at second. Back to Sandercock and Kat Sandercock, a four pitch inning for the second inning in a row. Back to back. And I think Kat Sandercock has just put this team on her back this game. Drop third strike. They get Anaya Black for the third strikeout for Katherine Sandercock today. She's already gone over 100 strikeouts on the season today. K time for the fourth time. Not a bad AB by Jen Cummings. She worked seven pitches in this at bat, which is more than Sandercock threw last inning to three hitters. But it's just about being able to have enough self control to not swing at that pitch. You can't do anything with it. You cannot hit it out of here. Have to be able to be patient with that drop ball. So I think it's being able to decipher the difference between, hey, that ball's way too low, it's not going to be a strike. Harding got it. Clean scorecard still for Katherine Sandercock and her defense. Been a minute since Kat has been back in the circle. This one hit to her, and she takes her time to retire Julia Desiderio. Besides, obviously, the obvious, the one thing that I circle up there is the pitch count. 45 pitches through six with one out. Like, that is efficiency at its best. Josie Muffley. High hop, Muffley there. A nine pitch inning for Katherine Sandercock, and she stays perfect.
Harding. One down. Strikeout. One out away. Five strikeouts for Kat Sandercock. It comes down to Riley Blampede. You take a peek at where Blam Pede is. Look at her back with her front foot out of the box. She's gotten off the plate. That opens the away if she wants. Hopper to Flaherty. Perfection for Catherine Sandercock! The pressure, not too much. Back to the Supers. Go the Knolls. The first perfect game thrown in Florida State NCAA tournament history. And the first perfect game in FSU history since 2018, and that was a five-inning game. This the full seven for the fifth-year senior.